And here's an example that most of us are probably familiar with, at least through live experience, the roller coaster. I don't go on those things anymore because they make me sick. It's good for kids, not for me. Anyway, let's say we have a roller coaster that goes around a loop-de-loop -loop like this, radius 5 meters. How fast should this roller coaster move so that nobody falls out and the car doesn't fall off the tracks? Different ways of looking at it. The way I like to look at it is, well, for one thing, there is a force of gravity trying to pull everything down, mg. And then there's that centrifugal force because of the motion or in a circular path, there seems to be this fictitious force that pushes things up the incline for centrifugal, which is equal to mv squared over r. Of course, that's not a real force, that's just a fictitious force. In essence, uh, the tracks pushing down and the weight of the car um, will keep the car in the circular motion rather than the car going straight what the car would like to do, of course, not violating Newton's first law. But I find this to be an easy way to look at it. So again, if this is bigger than this, the car will stay on the tracks. If this is smaller than this, the car will fall down and not stay on the track. So that's why we're going to find the minimum velocity by setting those two equal to each other. So we set the mv squared over r equal to the mg. And the m's cancel out, so now we have v squared is equal to rg. That looks all very familiar, just like the previous problem. And so v is equal to the square root of rg. In this case, we're looking for the minimum velocity, because any slower than that, the car will actually fall off the tracks, and that's not a good thing. So this is equal to the square root of the radius, 5 meters, times g, 9.8 meters per second square, uh, which is equal to the square root of 49 and the square root of 49 is 7. So 7 meters per second is the minimum velocity that car has to have or those people in the car will simply fall off the track. Now here's an interesting thing. Notice the equation. If r becomes smaller you can have a smaller minimum velocity which is good, which is safe. So what they tend to do these days at amusement parks, is, instead of making these circular, they tend to make this more like a teardrop shape. So they come in like this, and then it goes like this and like that. I know that's exaggerated, but that's kind of the concept. So what it means is at the very top, the radius of curvature becomes much smaller. Smaller radius of curvature means you can have a smaller velocity and still stay on the track. And also it makes the people feel a little squirmish because then you go so slow, you, so slow you, for a moment, you feel like you might be falling off the track, but you're not, and then you pick up speed again as you're going down. So that's the trick of the trade right here, and that's how you figure out how to do that.